Hello, again, we are reading the story. We're on page, at the bottom of page 116, really we're 117, but I'm just gonna read this little part about Delilah. We were with Samson and Delilah. Okay, so Delilah had asked Samson to tell her the secret, just like his other wife. I don't think, is she his wife yet? I'm not sure, it doesn't say they got married. Samson answered her, if anyone ties me with seven fresh bowstrings that have not been dried, I'll become as weak as any other man. Then the rulers of the Philistines brought her seven fresh bowstrings that had not been dried, and she tied him with them. With men hidden in the room, she called to him, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. But he snapped the bowstrings as easily as a piece of string snaps when it comes close to a flame. So did you get that image? When a string comes to a flame, how easily it pshh. So the secret of his strength was not discovered. Then Sam, sorry, then Delilah said to Samson, you have made a fool of me, you lied to me. Now she's trying to blame him and say you made a fool of me when he, really who should be the one that's upset? Yeah because she betrayed him to the Philistines trying to capture him. And she said, come now, tell me how you can be tied. I think, you should, well, she did say the Philistines are upon him. Oh, well, I think he knows at this point that it's her because who else tied him with undried bowstrings right after he said, well, it can be undried bowstrings that, that will cause me to lose my strength. And it just, just happen he just happened to be tied right after that no he knows it's her he said if anyone ties me securely with new ropes that have never been used then i'll become as weak as any other man so delilah took new ropes mysteriously and tied him with them then with the men hidden in the room she called samson the philistines are upon you but he snapped the ropes off his arms as if they were threads Delilah said to Samson, all this time you have been making a fool of me and lying to me. Oh, hold on. Well, we're going to continue there. Um, tell me how you can be tied. He's making a fool of her, but really she's showing that she can't be trusted and that she's conspiring against him. I would just leave her. Yes. Well, I don't even know if they're married. I don't think they are. Um, because it didn't say that they got married. Delilah said to Sam, okay, no, she's, and Samson replied, if you weave the seven braids of my head into the fabric on the loom and tighten it with a pin, are you, sorry, yes, I am, but, um, are you coming with us today? To the walk. Oh, no, I'm not getting back You right now. Oh. Okay. We're continuing. Um, let me see here. If you weep, I'll become as weak as any other man. So, while he was sleeping, Delilah took the seven braids. Mysteriously. Mysteriously, it happened right after he told her. Wove them into the fabric and tightened it with the pin. And she called to him, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. And he woke from his sleep and pulled up the pin in the loom with the fabric. Then she said to him, how can you say I love you when you won't confide in me? This is manipulation if I ever heard it. It's like super manipulation. She should start a TV show about manipulation. It's how to manipulate. Well, it's obvious. I, it's so obvious. And Samson can clearly see that she's trying to manipulate him into being captured by the Philistines. This is the third time you've made a fool of me and haven't told me the secret. With such nagging, she prodded him day after day after day until he was just sick of it. So he told her everything. Now, why would you do that? You know he's sh that she is trying to... Just leave her. Yeah, why? Now I mean... you're married, you can just leave. Yeah, unfortunately, they are living like husband and wife, though they are not husband and wife. So they're already... Uh, stepping outside of God's boundary and we know there's safety and blessing in the boundary but they're stepping outside and guess what there's danger out there and is, is Samson walking into danger mm -hmm. yeah. do you know the end yeah you know the end of the story okay 
I don't understand why he told her, but he does. He says, no razor has ever been used on my head because I have been a Nazarite dedicated to God from my mother's womb. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me and I would become as weak as any other man. And when Delilah saw, saw that he had told her everything, she sent word to the rulers of the Philistines. Come back once more. He has told me everything. And we're going to stop there before the end of the story because the other stuff has some juicy stuff in it. Um, and it's a little violent. Well, it is a little violent, but we will not, we won't be going into depth. We'll just kind of skim over some of the things that are too heavy for us to carry. Okay, bye.